In a previous Revit Pure video tutorial, we've explored a workflow to automate the wall openings based on the building side. For example, gathering all the wall openings for the south side and getting the actual openings percentage. I've received multiple comments saying that there were some limitations in this workflow. For example, what happens if you want to take only part of a wall or what happens if you don't want the fire compartment to go above the ceiling or if there are multiple fire compartments for the same wall. Uh, so I've decided to revisit this workflow to adapt to a wider variety of situations. You can see I've modeled a different building. In this case, we have two fire compartments for the same building side. For example, cell number one and cell number two, assuming there's a fire separation wall in the middle over here. And for this workflow to work, it is quite similar to the previous video, which you can watch by clicking the link in the video description. But you must create as many instances of a generic annotation family as there are fire compartments. You can see I have South 1, South 2, North 1, North 2, East 1, and West 1. And I've manually entered the limiting distance and the maximum openings. So now that these values have been entered, I will start by doing a demonstration of the workflow and then uh, you will learn how to reproduce it. First, you can see everything is currently empty, the wall area, the wall openings and the actual openings percentage. I will go to Dynamo and run the script. Go back here and you can see what happens. The wall area and the wall openings have been filled up. And for example, on the south number one side, uh, the actual openings displays in red, which means that we have uh, too much uh, openings for the size of the wall. So I'm going to go here, select this current wall and make it smaller. This is the south one fire compartment. And I will go back to Dynamo, run the script again. And you can see now it is only 14% and it doesn't display in red anymore because it is below 20. However, you can see there's a mistake in the east number one, which is currently displaying seemingly the correct amount of wall openings, but zero for the wall area. So if we troubleshoot this and you will see how this workflow is done, I will find the east elevation, which seems to be at the top over here. And the way this work is using a field region. So I will select this field region that I've manually drafted. And you can see that the building side is empty. So I just need to fill up the correct information for this building side, entering east-1. Going back to Dynamo, running the script again. And you can see east number one, the wall area has now been filled up. So the way that this script does work, this workflow does work, there's an additional burden of manually drafting each of these fill region. But I think it is still the most simple way to do it because Hal's trying to find like the correct slope for the foundation walls or trying to figuring out where the wall should stop. It would be too complicated. And I don't think users should start to split the walls only for this workflow to properly work. So the way to do it is to draft field region and assign them the correct building side parameter. And when drafting these field regions, you don't have to remove the openings because the opening calculation is still done automatically. You can see, for example, in the south number one, we've drafted two different field regions and made sure to assign the correct building side. So this is one part of the workflow. And if I go to 3D view, every single openings, including doors, curtain walls, uh, windows, and other potential uh, openings, such as vents, for example, must have the correct building side parameter, which is a shared, uh, a custom shared parameters that have been added to the project. So you can see this one has been labeled as West number one. This one is South number one. And the Dynamo script does the rest of the job trying to figure out uh, which building side these are. So let's have a look, an overview of this Dynamo script. You can see at the top here, the Dynamo script, script will find all the fill region that do have a building sign. So it will ignore 
uh, every single fill region or detail item that doesn't have the building side parameter of value inside of it, then it is going to get the sum of it. And this sum is going to be placed directly to the generic annotation family. And meanwhile, we are gathering the doors, the windows, and the curtain walls in the project. Uh, filtering them to make sure that they do have a building side assigned. We are grouping uh, every single openings by building side, then getting the sum. For the current wall, we can get the area parameter directly. For the doors and the windows, we don't have access to an area parameter. So we must multiply the width and the height, add them together, and then add the current wall on top of it and assign it to the generic annotation family as well. So this is an overview of the Dynamo script that is used in combination with this generic annotation. You can recreate everything that you've learned in this video by yourself, or you can download a pre-made copy of it, including the Dynamo script and this sample file, which include the generic annotation family that you need and the building side share parameter. It is available with the Manage package for Revit, which is meant to help you become a great BIM manager with a focus on Revit and Dynamo, learning how to keep healthy Revit models, how to automate boring tasks, how to create an amazing template, also including the Revit Pure Pro template and a collection of Dynamo script. Learn more at revitpure.com manage.